Hi everyone. Um, so I was doing a reading and I just stopped and I figured I would just start over just because I kind of went off on a tangent. I was channeling a lot of different information and I, I don't want to make you guys sit through all that. So I decided to just start over and tell you what I've gotten so far. I will be doing my beginning of the month Zodiac videos probably on or around the 1st. I just, I didn't do them on the 15th that my allergies were acting up. But anyway, so what I've been channeling, the energy I'm picking up, this is a third party situation. It's going to be different for everybody. So there's one main energy group, but there's a few different storylines here. It's like the same energy, but there's, you know, different variations of the story. So this is either you or your person. So either you've been dealing with a karmic third party that, you know, was kind of leading you on, like they didn't really seem all that into you and they were actually keeping you away from your true love. Or this could be your person that's been dealing with a karmic third party. So take it as it resonates. And throughout that reading, I kept saying you or your person. And I feel like that just made things confusing. So for like 50, 60% of you, I think this is your person that's dealing with this. So I'm just going to say your person. But if you know it's you, just, you know, feel free to swap the roles you know, this is, reading should be an intuitive exercise. So if I say this is about love, but it feels like career to you, you know, take it as it resonates, like really use your intuition. Also, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. If this is your energy group, then you'll know it. This will make sense to you. This will, you know, it'll all, you'll, you'll see the bigger picture. It'll all kind of come into play and you'll, you'll understand the reading if this is for you. But anyway, yeah, so for a lot of you, this is this is probably your person dealing with this. And I feel, okay, so the energy I get from this karmic third party is that they don't actually want you or your, sorry, your, or your person, you know, again, either you or your person take, you know, place the role where you see fit. But I feel like they don't actually really want your person. I feel like this is either your person's ex that w when they dated, it's like they didn't really make your person feel wanted or loved. Like they were all, they had a wandering eye. I get someone that either is polyamorous or wants to be polyamorous. I feel like somebody was always looking for the next best thing. Like they didn't, they just didn't like, they didn't really like your person for who they are. Like, say you and your person are both kind of weird. It's like that might not have resonated with this person, with this karmic third party. Like, they didn't understand that energy. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't have the same taste in movies or music or uh, beliefs. It's, it's like there was just so many different. It wouldn't just be like one or two incompatibilities. It's like I think there was like several incompatibilities or just I don't know what it is exactly. But I just I, the energy I channel from this karmic third party is like he or she really just does not even want your person for whatever reason. It's like they just it's like the karmic just kind of felt like they were settling for your person, you know. Um, and so there's a couple different storylines for some. I feel like this is your person's ex. And I feel like when they dated, like I said, I feel like, you know, your person just never felt loved like this person didn't, didn't really express emotion didn't really make them feel wanted, um, made them feel like they all, like they always just wanted to change them. And I feel like this ex might have just manifested them back because it's like familiar to them. And then once they actually got your person back, once their witchcraft worked, they were like, oh, wait, never mind. Like, I, I don't want this. Like, this isn't, this isn't for me. Um, for others, I feel like I am getting witchcraft involved for some, but not for, for all. I just kind of feel like this karmic did some kind of spell work. And I feel like she, I feel like it didn't go as, as he or she intended this, it to go. Basically, I feel like the karmic might have done spell work just to like meet their true love. And, you know, when you do like love manifestation spell work, sometimes multiple people come in. So I feel like maybe, you know, your person was one of, one of their many options, basically. But it, like they didn't feel like that was what they wanted. Base, you know what I mean? This karmic third party almost has, I don't know if it's like player energy, but I just feel like it's somebody who cannot handle being alone. So I feel like they might have had multiple people that they were talking to at the same time. That's kind of the energy that I feel from it. Um, 
I feel like your person was just, I feel like they're both kind of bonded out of loneliness in a way. Because I feel like your person was just missing you. There might have been a period of separation where they were tired of being away from you. And it's like they're, you know, this was like the new fun thing for them basically um, in that period of separation. And I feel like for the karmic third party, it's like they just feel like they had multiple people that they were talking to. And like I said, it's like they just felt like they couldn't handle being alone. Um, but I feel like your person would have felt something was off with this karmic. Like they would have felt... Like they could kind of sense that the karmic was looking for something else, that the karmic wasn't, it's it's like the karmic just really wasn't that into them. Like I don't get the sense that the karmic was in love with them. I, I don't even know if I could call it a real crush. I, I feel like it was more, I feel like it was just more than anything. I think the karmic kind of liked the attention. I feel like your person was giving them a lot of attention and I feel like this karmic you know, they, they like having multiple attention from multiple sources. They like having multiple options. I think some small part of them considered your person, but I just feel like pretty early on they saw incompatibilities, they saw differences. So I don't really feel like the karmic third party ever really pursued this person. I feel like it was more one of those things where they would like flirt a little bit when they were bored, lonely. Like they would kind of lead this person on, but they would never actually express emotions to this person. Like they might, you know, they might dress cute in front of them or they might send them cutesy little flirty emojis um, through social media or text messages. And, um, they, you know, they might have these little conversations with them and whatnot and be kind of, you know, like kind of sexy, kind of flirty, because I think they just like that feeling of of being they, they like the attention. This person's very seductive. Um, but I just kind of get that, like, like, I think this person knew the whole time, or at least the majority of the time, that they didn't really want your person. That's kind of the energy that I feel. I get the sense that they kind of knew that they would be settling, because like I was saying, there's so many differences with personality, with with taste. They just, they just were not on the same page. You know what I mean? Like they just, there, there wasn't really a very deep soul connection there. I'm, I'm getting more of a karmic. I'm not even really feeling a past life connection there necessarily. I think it was a pretty shallow connection. Um, and it was more based on lust, on, you know, their loneliness and your person's loneliness. Uh, just... Because I keep getting this sense of the karmic third party like flirting with your person, but I feel like they, it's like they don't let it get very far is kind of the energy that I got. And this might have been going on for like the past few months or so, but I just get this energy of like, like they flirt, but if your person tries to get deeper with them or, you know, expresses emotions or feelings, it's like the karmic shuts it down. The karmic is like, oh no, wait, like. I don't really want to go there because like I said, it's like the karmic is it's like they were kind of trying to have this person as maybe like a backup option if all else failed, if they couldn't find their actual true love or if there was nothing better out there um, or like they kind of just like the attention like they 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 liked having they like having people chase them basically is kind of the energy that I feel. But basically, they would never really let it get very deep. They would keep it very flirty. Um, you know, they kept they kept this person on hold, basically, while they, you know, explored other options and tried to find their actual person or see what else was out there. Like, your person felt very um, just weird with this situation. Like, they felt like something was off. Like, they thought that it was very one-sided, hot and cold kind of energy. They felt very, I think your person felt very confused too because they felt like this person was interested in them. But then it's like if they ever tried to express any kind of emotion, it's like this person would kind of shut down or they just weren't really into it. So it never, it never got deep with them. Like I'm not getting anything. Like I don't feel like, I, I mean, I, it could be, it, they might have, but I'm for most of you, I don't even feel like they had sex. I don't even think that it got, like I, I don't think it got very far. You know what I mean? I think it was just, you know, flirting for a period of time um and your person kind of being left in the dark and kind of confused about 
you know, whether this person was actually into them or not. I think your person actually felt like they were led on by this karmic. Like they felt like there wasn't the communication there or like they weren't seeing eye to eye. Um, they were tired of kind of being strung along like this person. It's almost like this person might, you know, not for all of you, but for some, this person might have been sending them like nudes or sending them like sexy pictures or they would like dress really cutesy and bat their eyelashes at them. But like when they would hang out, it's like they would be kind of like distant, like they would just kind of pull their energy back suddenly. So and again, it was one of those things where it's like they just wanted this person on hold in case they couldn't find anything better. And also they liked the attention from this person. But, you know, they, but yeah, like I said, it never got deep. There was never love expressed. I don't think there was ever love expressed on either side. I don't think your person was like in love with them or anything like that. Like, I don't think it got to that point. I think it was more like a, like it could even, it could even be like being let on sexually. They're like, well, why are you sending me these cutesy pictures and, you know, sending me these nudes? But it's like, you don't actually, you don't actually seem like you're attracted to me. Um... And, and for others, it was more of like a romantic, emotional energy. Well, like, like I said, it didn't get very deep, but it was like with the flirting, it was like constant, like back and forth, but it never got past level one. You know what I mean? There was never any emotion expressed on either end. And then I think at some point your, your person might have actually told them that they were interested or that they liked them and they, you know, wanted to get to know them. And I think they got shot down is kind of the energy I feel because I feel like with the five of wands, it's like two people that like aren't talking and Ace of Swords is clarity and communication. So I kind of feel like your person was like, hey, like, why aren't we, like, why do you keep flirting with me? But like, if I talk about us going on a date, you say that you can't, you're busy. Um, you know, like, why, why are you so distant? Like, why, why aren't you, you know, do you, do you not want to pursue this? Do you like me? Do you not? Like your person was just kind of left in the dark. And I feel like there was some conversation and I feel like this was like a 10 of swords, which I mean, I don't want to say your person was like that heartbroken over it because I, like I said, I don't, I think they might've been crushing on this person, but I don't think it got that deep. Like, I don't think they had any like deep conversations or anything like that. You know what I mean? It was mostly just flirting, but, but yeah, I feel like there was some kind of ending here where, you know, the karmic kept putting them off and kept being like, oh, I'm busy, or they kept kind of being standoffish while they played the field and tried to see what else was out there. Um, and I think eventually that your person just called them out and you're like, hey, like, do you want to go on a date or not? Like, are do you want to see if there's a connection here or do you not? And I, I, yeah, I think your person got shut down with the Ten of Swords here. Then we have the Empress. Yeah, this person never, yeah, this karmic never really wanted your person. Temperance, two of swords, reversed, six of wands, three of wands, the hanged man. New, let's see. This was, this was a karmic lesson to restore balance, I think, actually. Because we have the temperance card here. That's about balance. And it's like somebody has the blindfold off now. Six of wands, three of wands, the hanged man. Yeah, this, this karmic situation, I think, I feel like it's over. I feel like... Your person might have a, a conversation with them for closure like this. Your person might go to them and be like, what the hell was that? Like, why? Why did you leave me on? Why did you flirt with me? And because I feel like they got rejected, but I feel like for some, they don't understand why they got rejected. Like they didn't they didn't realize that this person was just kind of bored and lonely and just playing the field. Like, I think that they were kind of naive in this situation. Like, they didn't really see what was going on. But I mean, like, if you take a step back, I feel like it would have been pretty obvious because, like I said, this karmic never, like, expressed emotion. They never showed that much interest. Like, they never, it was just very flirty, but, like, they never really, like, they didn't make time to hang out. Or if they did hang out, it was like they, they, they always kept a wall up. Like, they always were kind of distant. You know what I mean? Um... But I feel like, 
Oh, I was saying, yeah, I feel like there might be like a conversation that comes in between your person and the karmic just for that closure. Because it's like, like I said, they were kind of left in the dark. They really didn't understand the hot and cold energy. Like, why does this person flirt and then just ghost me or do their own thing? Um, like, why is this person just all over the place? Like, they didn't know whether to pursue this or not. They didn't know if there was anything there worth pursuing. Because like I said, it never got off the ground. This is one of those connections that never got that deep. It never got past just flirting and whatnot um so yeah I feel like they might have that conversation for closure but like I, I feel like I'm getting that the, this karmic situation is over with because I feel like your person's had some kind of epiphany that they don't even want this person either you know what I mean they're they're kind of seeing it the same way this person's been seeing it like oh wait a minute this was like boredom and loneliness like I don't like, like they're seeing the mutual incompatibilities. You know what I mean? I almost feel like your person just, I don't know. It almost feels like your person just like wants what they can't have or they're like attracted to the unattainable. But I feel like they accuse you or accuse, accuse other people of being that way. You know what I mean? Like they're not taking a, a look in the mirror. They're not realizing. It's like they feel like everybody else around them just wants what they can't have or they kind of have like a pessimistic mindset on connections and whatnot, but it's like they're the ones that are doing that. They're the ones that are pursuing what they can't have, you know what I mean? And they're projecting that onto you or onto other people in general and, and thinking that everybody's like that when it's really just they're the ones that are like that. So this your person really needs to do some soul searching and really, you know, learn to differentiate their energy from other people's energy. Um. Because, yeah, it does seem like a kind of lusty kind of, you know, like your person just the forbidden fruit needed to be tasted kind of energy there, basically. And now that there's that closure, now that there's that kind of epiphany, I think some kind of divine intervention took place where I think your person's spirit guides protected them from getting too too much deeper into this. I feel like it was just a karmic lesson that needed to be learned. And we're going to that's what I'm seeing here. I'm going to get more into that. Um, And I feel like. I feel like, you know, for this karmic third party too, they have their own true love out there somewhere else that they were being blocked from. So I think their spirit guides came in as well to wrap this karmic cycle up and whatnot and, um, you know, get that, get them on that, that path to, to manifesting their actual person. But with temperance, two of swords reversed, six of wands, three of wands, the hangman, I feel like this was a karmic lesson. I feel like the scales needed to be balanced because we have, you know, six of two of swords upright is about having a mask on and it reversed. I kind of feel like in each reader kind of reads the cards differently. They have their own relationship, but I always see the two of swords reversed as like the mask is off. Someone's not at a crossroads anymore. There's not any more confusion like the the your person and this per and the karmic have either already had a conversation to bring about closure or they're about to have a conversation to bring about closure. Like I feel like your person's like over this person. I don't feel like they're trying to pursue it anymore, but I feel like they just want answers. They're like, well, why did you just flirt and just lead me on? And I actually feel like in the midst of that conversation, that's what I'm getting with this karmic lesson here. I feel like in the midst of that conversation your person is going to realize that that the karmic treated them almost the same way that they treated you. There's similar, it, it's very similar energy here. And I feel like this was almost a karmic lesson that they needed to go through in order to appreciate you more. Like, I think that they needed to kind of see it, what that feels like. And I think they needed to take... I feel like your person really needs to like take responsibility for themselves and kind of see their role in things. And I feel like that car, I feel like it's almost going to be like in the middle of the conversation. I feel like, like when they're having this conversation to bring about this closure, it's like your person is going to have like this, like, Oh shit moment. Like where they just realize like, Oh, wait a minute. I did, I did all this to, to my actual true love. You know what I mean? Like I ghosted them or I made them feel unwanted or I left them in the dark or I was hot and cold while I was playing the field and seeing what else was out there. I left them confused. I, you know, you know what I mean? Like they're going to, they're going to have this epiphany, this aha moment where they're like, oh, wow. Like I, 
I treated my person the exact same way this karmic third party treated me. And, you know, a karmic lesson isn't always, it's not always like, oh, like the universe is out to get you, like they're punishing you. It's not like that. It's more, you know, temperance. It's about restoring balance, you know, two of swords reverse, like taking that blindfold off, not being at a crossroads anymore, like having the answers, having that clarity, you know, victory, public recognition. So it's like this needed to happen because I feel like in the past, maybe your person didn't understand things from your perspective. Like maybe they thought that you were just being over dramatic or you're being over emotional or um, like maybe they just didn't really, maybe this person's not used to being rejected a lot. You know, maybe this per maybe your person like just didn't understand like what that even feels like. You know what I mean? Um. But yes, yeah, something that's going to happen in this conversation, there's something specific, I think, about this conversation where it's it's going to be a light bulb moment for your person where they're going to have that that recognition. Um, but again, like they, they needed to go through this karmic third party lesson to to appreciate you, to understand your perspective, to understand that you weren't just being emotional, you weren't just being dramatic, like you had reason to be upset, like, you know you were being left in the dark, you were being confused, you were being led on the same way this karmic did this to your person. You know what I mean? So now they have this new appreciation for you. And I feel like when they do come in, it's like you guys are going to have more clarity and more open, honest communication. Um, Because it's not going to be a battle. It's not just going to be like I said, it's not just going to be like, oh, you, you, you did this. And this was super dramatic. It's like they're kind of going back and like looking at things that you said and did. And they have more understanding now. They're like, oh, like, wait a minute. Like, my person was really upset over that. Like, instead of just, you know, assuming the worst about you or just not understanding where you were coming from and not understanding how it felt to be in your position, they they understand that now. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be really good for future conversations between the two of you because you can talk about things from the past if they do come up. And they're not going to be just accusing you and just you know, downplaying what you went through, they're actually going to be, you're, you're going to be surprised because they're actually going to have a lot more empathy. They're going to be a lot more sensitive than what you remember. They're going to be a lot more understanding about, you know, your perspective. They're going to, they're going to understand. Yeah. They're going to get that temperance, the hanged man. Yeah. Letting go new perspective. King of Wands, Justice, the Moon. Yeah, this, like I said, this had to happen for this new start to happen between you guys. Because I feel like had this karmic third party situation not happened, um, for one, they wouldn't appreciate you. For one, they, they would still probably be seeing you in that same light that they were seeing you in before. Um, and I feel like it would lead to arguments between the two of you down the road because it would be like, you guys might have a good start, but then at some point they're going to be like, well, you did this and this in the past. And again, they didn't have any empathy for that before because they didn't understand that perspective. They didn't understand the pain that you were in. They didn't understand like how that pain probably built up more and more over time. Like they didn't, you know, just, just that whole energy of, of just being rejected by somebody that you loved being being uh pushed away you know being in in that hot and cold energy not knowing where you stand with somebody being confused being left out in the con the cold you know what i mean um it, it's it's like they have that they have like a new sense of empathy a new a new perspective basically so when you guys do talk about the past um, the conversation's going to be much different. Like I said, if this hadn't happened, it's like you guys probably would have ended up getting in arguments because they would have ended up blaming you for things again. Like, well, like they wouldn't have understood your pain. You know what I mean? They would have been like, well, you were just reckless and that's why you did this and this and this, or you were just being dramatic and emotional, like, like kind of just like dismissing it. Like, oh, maybe it was that time of the month or, you know, like not understanding it. But now they're like, wait a minute, like I need to go back and look at that and like understand the pain and understand that like, you know, maybe even there were times when like you were angry and they're kind of recognizing now that that anger that you were expressing was actually pain. So, so yeah, this was a really important lesson for them. Um, 
to be able to have more empathy, to be able to know what that feels like, and to be able to have this this new sense of um, appreciation for you and understanding. Because we have justice, we have the moon. So there's things that are being revealed and um, you're kind of in the, towards the end of that process where you're about to have this new, be new beginning with this person. Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Three of, yeah, they're letting go of third party situations. I'm feeling, I feel like they're also letting go of this kind of slow energy too. Like they don't want to, they don't want to do to you what was just done to them. Basically, they don't want, you know what I mean? Like they don't want to be that person. This, they, they also saw a lot of things in this karmic that they didn't like. Like they kind of saw almost like a player energy in this karmic. They kind of saw, um, it's like this person had so many different options. I feel like that's one of the lessons too. It's like this karmic had so many different options just kind of play in the field and whatnot. It's like they had different people to choose from, but this karmic was still alone on a deeper level. So I think that this lesson also is getting your person kind of back in touch with their romantic emotional side as well. Because they're like, I, I feel like, how do I explain this energy? I feel like in the past, your person aspired to be like this karmic, even if they hadn't met this karmic. I feel like in the past, like they thought that was the way to be, you know what I mean? Like what this karmic was doing, like playing games, talking to multiple people. I feel like in the past, your person went through that phase where they're like, yeah, that's the way to be like, to have control, to have multiple options, to make sure I'm always the one on top, kind of like a power struggle energy. Like I'm, you know, like I'm always going to be in control. I'm not going to let my feelings get the best of me. I'm not going to open up to anybody. I'm going to, I'm going to be the one being chased. I'm going to be the one that gets all the attention, like, like just all ego, basically, you know what I mean? And I feel like that was another thing that really opened their eyes and taught them this karmic lesson is they saw someone that was actually in that energy that they were aspiring to be in. They saw this karmic that, that, you know, had that energy, this karmic, just like the attention, this karmic had multiple people that they were talking to, but this karmic was still very alone on a deeper level. And this karmic was alone par partially too, because it's like, they're not in, maybe they're not in like deep contact with their own soul as well. You know, it's, it's like this person just, it's like the, the karmic was like running from something, you know what I mean? Like they just constantly need that attention. They can't be alone. Like they don't know themselves on a deep level. And so I think that your person is kind of seeing the karmic in that light. And they're like, wait a minute, like that's why I don't, I don't care about control anymore. I don't care about my ego anymore. Like I don't want to be like that. I don't want to, you know, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're recognizing that they're having those epiphanies because of this situation. It's like, they're, you know, they're recognizing it's like, I don't, I don't care if multiple people are chasing me. If I'm, if I'm alone on a deep level, what does it matter? What is all that attention and those ego boosts? Like that doesn't do anything for me, you know? So they're having these epiphanies about what really matters to them. And I feel like that's you, you know, I feel, I feel like you come into play there where they're, they're wanting to clear this energy out and they're wanting to go towards what they, they're wanting to align with their higher self. They're wanting to align with their heart and their emotions. They're wanting to be more true to themselves. So it, it's like, they just realize that how they don't want to be. So it's, it's really, it, it really was an important lesson. There's multiple lessons here that they just learned. I feel like this cycle is wrapped up and it does feel like get a few messages, few more messages just real quick. Yeah, they're coming out of hermit mode and they're they're being strong finally. They're being strong and they're fighting for what they want. They're fighting for what they believe in and that's, you know, love. I feel like this person is actually um they're making a judgment call and and doing some shadow work as well and finally using their intuition. But I feel like your person is basically aligning with who they really are. They're aligning with this romantic, emotional, idealistic side of themselves. You know, you know, like I said, they're kind of realizing it's like the people that are just all ego that just, you know, that have that kind of kill or be killed mentality, always have to be first, always have to one up everybody. They're realizing that those people don't actually really win in the end. Those people are actually very lonely and very insecure on a deep level. They're, they're realizing that's not something to aspire to. So they're actually finding their own definition of strength and their own ideals. Um, and it looks like that is emotional and romantic. They are aligning with these, these core values, basically. So anyway, I hope that helped you guys. 
Um, as always, I'm doing private readings. My email is right below in the description box. Thanks.